Welcome to the GE Video Academy. This video will demonstrate how to set up an IP payload configuration on the MDS Master Station. Configurations will be shown via the command line and the web UI. The CLI will be shown first. The example setup shown involves a radio link between the Master Station and an SD remote while in packet with Mac mode. The head and polar on the left is pulling the IPRTU on the right to the RF path. Both the SD and the master station are set up with a UDP IP payload configuration. This can be an ideal configuration over Ethernet bridging to prevent unwanted traffic from using bandwidth. In this example, virtual radio channels, also known as VRCs, are not used and will be left at default. VRCs can be used to virtually segment the IP payloads from each other and to segment the serial ports as well. Please see the manual for more information on this topic. The following setup example will show how to configure the MDS master station only. Using a terminal program, connect to the MDS master station via serial or SSH. Log into the radio as admin. Enter configuration mode by typing the command configure and then pressing enter. To set parameters on the SDMS interface, start by typing set interfaces interface SDMS sd-config, and then press the tab button. Next, enter ip-payload, and then the tab button twice. There are three separate IP payloads that can be configured. In this example, only one IP payload is used. Enter one to complete the command, and then hit the tab button. To configure the master for UDP mode, enter ip-payload-mode. UDP, then followed by the tab button. Following the example configuration, enter the command remote dash IP dash port, and then enter the value of the head end polar's local port. Then click the tab button. Next, enter server dash IP dash address to enter the IP address of the head end polar. After clicking the tab button once more, enter into the CLI local dash IP dash port and then enter the value of the port on the master station that will be used. Once all the items have been configured, press the enter key to send the commands to the radio. Then, enter the command commit to set the changes. Use the command show interfaces interface SDMS to view the configuration set. To configure the IP payload settings using the web interface, navigate to the radio via a web browser and log in as admin. Using the navigation bar on the left-hand side of the web interface, click on Interfaces, and then click on SDMS. On the basic config tab, scroll down the web page and expand the IP payload section. In this video, we will be configuring only IP payload 1. First, click on the Enabled box. Then, under the IP payload mode, choose UDP. For this example, leave Talk on VRC and Listen to VRC set to defaults, as seen here. For the local IP port, enter the local port of the master station. Next, with the server IP address and the remote IP port, enter the IP address and the IP port of the head and polar, respectively. Once all the fields have been configured, click the green Save button at the top of the page. Confirm the changes on the pop-up by clicking the OK button. Now all the changes have been committed to the radio, 